she pro p pro p pro p pro k p a s a s a p a s a what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. First thing that is popping in the news today is the twenty fourth of December, the eve of Christmas. However, about twenty four hours ago, in a place called Spalding. At the intersection or the border of Manchester and Clarendon, a young lady. This is her picture on the screen. Government name Grant. They call her Kim. If you look at your screen, also, I got a news report, and this is exactly what the caption of the news report says: A female, K I L L E D, another female over a man in Spalding, Manchester, just now. The one who lost her life went to the other woman's house. The next woman came out and s t a b b e d her, taking her out on the spots. Now, people, this is Kim's picture on the screen. Kim's children no longer have a mother because of the bad decision that Kim and her friend made. Based on information, it is said that Kim and two other friends. They might have heard that her man was at this lady's house, so therefore, it's either Kim take bows from our friend them, and they decide that all right, we're going to go by this lady's house, we're going to pay her a visit because no one but my man. It is said that the lady came outside. Some sorts of altercation took place. During that altercation, a knife was used. The lady jo- Jacob Kim, Kim did not make it. Kim was taken out, rushed to the place of recovery. Too late was the call. Manchester Popo held on to the suspect, the lady in question that took the man, and also one of Kim's friend. Now, people, when we analyze the whole situation. Based on what the motive is, them a f i g h t over man. You cannot tame or you cannot own any man or woman. You do not have any sorts of title, any sorts of registration for any sorts of p u m s or any sorts of c o c k y man or woman, vice versa. So therefore, you have no right. To claiming something that you don't own, if the man respects you enough, he would not have let the situation got to where the situation. And I am not even blaming the man because I was not there. I don't know what took place, what transpired. At the end of the day, the moral of the story is this: You have one lady; she loses her life. That is Kim, gone from her mother, gone from her kids. You have a next lady who is a suspect whose name was not mentioned. She get lock up. The suspect and one of Kim's friend also got locked up. This lady is facing a charge of M U R D E R. But people, check the ratio. Kim and two other friend leave from their place, went to this lady's place. This lady did not leave from her place. Whether she owned the man, she had a mate, or whatever the case is, the fact that Kim and her friend had the audacity to go by some other woman's house, some sorts of argument. Me not know who started, but the fact that Kim go over the woman house, it tells you that Kim is going to be in the wrong. Because if she did not go by there, nothing more than likely would not have happened on that day. I am not going to say that they would not have kicked off at the next day because we see say, some sorts of grievance, some sorts of belly a carry for somebody over some sorts of man. So if this man respected you, he would not have allowed it to happen. Don't know if the man was there. At the point when Kim and her two friend go over there, 
However, you cannot claim ownership to a man or a woman. A man is going to do what a man is going to do, especially if that man is out there sowing his wild oats. So what do you think that this man is going to do? He is going to move on with his life and the next lady, more than likely, is going to come into play. He is going to probably grieve over Kim for a day or two, nine days at the most. He is probably going to hold him head and say, Jano Star, me can't believe so and so, gone to jail for take away Kim. However, when his natural instincts and his needs kick in, he is going to look for a next woman. So people, at the end of the day, he is out scot-free doing what he has to do. Kim is gone and the other lady pretty much has to deal with the court. Her family has to pick up the pieces and grieve. And people... You know what is very disturbing about this trend that we see going on in Jamaica for decades? Meaning, woman in all sorts of altercation with an ex-woman over man, vice versa. Is that these friends, that's why you have to be very careful with the friends that you choose. Why didn't the friend tell her, say, listen, this man has a problem, this man has stress you out, leave the man alone. Why did these women boost up Kim and Kim take the boost from the friends? Because I am not even going to blame the friends because she was the one that was in some sort of quest for some sort of man. Why didn't they talk sense into her head? Women out there, men out there, the friends that you have that boost you up to do all sorts of BS, you need to get rid of these friends. You need to get friends that encourages you to do the right thing. Because people, at the end of the day, it is a lose-lose preposition. Kim gone, the suspect lock up, the man move on. The family of Kim and the family of the other suspect are the suspect. They now have to deal with the baggage or the problem associated with Losing a loved one and also dealing with all sorts of court. In this Yuletide season, Christmas season, it makes absolutely no sorts of sense. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called Read Between the Lines. Read the fine prints. And I am speaking about a news conference that was held by the SSP, Stephanie Lindsay. She is the head of the corporate communications units of the JC of Jamaica Constabulary Force. People, she recognized that Jamaica is a very serious place, especially in a this supposedly Yuletide season, Christmas season, it is going to be D-E-A-D-L-Y. She did a news conference and she said, People, Please to avoid areas where there are any sorts of G-A-N-G conflict. Choose carefully the events that you attend. Do not attend events in which you know that gangsters are going to be there. Did she say, do not go to sting? No, she did not in so much words. However... She is making it very clear that, listen, this is Sting. Sting is going to be held on the 26th of December, 2022. We know that this year's Sting is going to feature a lot of chopper artists, scam artists, gangster artists. People, take a listen, take a look to what the SSP has to say, and then I'll give my piece. person should choose very carefully the events that they attend and if you know that there's conflict young conflict and other things happening in your space and you see an event pop up don't attend where you have young conflicts the gangsters will use any and every opportunity to get at their opponents they are the ones who are attending these events and we see where where you have gangsters operating in the same space with innocent citizens and they are attacked by their opponents oftentimes 
the innocent mm. citizens who have nothing to do with the conflict. They are the ones that are so affected. So if you're aware of a conflict in your area and an event pops up, don't attend. Choose somewhere else to go. It's all in the interest of safety and security. So where you have police officers in offices, non-geographic formations, specialized sections, then at this time of the year, they are all deployed. So we only have minimal, minimal staff in administration. So we almost have full deployment out there. We also have some of our persons who are in advanced training at the police college. They are out as well so as to provide that physical presence because we know that it is very reassuring to the public when they see police in the spaces. And we also know that it is a preventative strategy because where you have police presence, then you tend to find that the, the criminals don't operate in the same space because they know they'll be apprehended and they will be detected. Now, people, this is my disclaimer before I proceed. SSP Stephanie Lindsay did not say specifically that don't attend Sting or Sting would be considered as one of those events or era that is going to be infested by gangsters, gang members. So therefore, it is not going to be safe. This is me, somebody that knows the street and making a conscious decision for myself and people who I care for, I am not going there. If you choose to go there, you are going based on a decision that you made, based on your risk reward that you analyze or assess the situation and decide that you want to go. Now, people, you hear the SSB where she say, gangsters are going to choose every opportunity to get at their opposition to get at their enemies she told you do not attend areas where there are all sorts of gang conflict however at this one event called sting all of these so-called dancehall artists gangsters trying to be dancehall artists a lot of them that are in all sorts of conflict that we see on social media in our real life they are booked for it one thing that you and i as jamaicans know jamaicans like excitement jamaicans like hype jamaicans like the highlights such is the case of the chopper the gangsters these people, they are fully aware that more than likely our enemy is going to be there. More than likely, people that want to do us something would know that we're going to be at this event. So therefore, don't be caught slipping. And when I say don't be caught slipping, I am not only speaking about the gangsters. I am more speaking about the innocent persons. That just want to party, want to have a good time, want to enjoy themselves in the Christmas. This is the ideal location where gangsters know other gangsters are going to be. So therefore, it is going to be like fishing in a bucket. They are going to go there. They are going to have spot a lion to scope out the enemy, scope out the enemy's car. And people, we all know that. These so-called wangsters, they are not very good. S-H-O-O-T-E-R-S. -O -O -E they have high-powered rifle. However, when them start spray, it is usually 99% innocent people getting hit. All sorts of chaos happening, but do they care? They want to make the news. Them like the hype. Them like the spotlights. However, let me warn them that the promoters of this event, meaning FD and Mr. Leng, Sting, they are prepared. You hear the SSP Stephanie Lindsay, she telling us, uh, listen, we understand you have intention. We understand say so you have plans. However, the popo, they are going to be there in full force. So therefore, the moral of the story is this. 
You now, as a sensible person, must make the decision. When you consider the risk and the reward, is it worth your time? Is it worth you risking your life for a certain event just to have a few hours of good entertainment? When you have the rest of your life to live, when you have family and picnic that are dependent on you, that is something that everybody must decide for themselves. It is very simple. There is pros and there is cons. There is risk and there are rewards. Do you think that the rewards of entertainment and enjoying yourself for a few hours is worth you possibly losing your life, getting hurt with this congestion of traffic, people, me know what me I do, I won't be there. If you choose to be there, that is a choice that you make for yourself. My job as a blogger is to put out the information, then you can make that decision for yourself. An educated decision, therefore you are not just jumping in a car, going to this event and thinking that all is going to be well. Anything can pop off, it can go good and it can go bad. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate video just like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.